Hello VC, Big Star 1000, um, with a new installment of Gimme 10. Uh, and tonight I want to do a little bonus video or a little addendum video to the West Coast Sound three part um, video that I um, that I did. You can check it out on my channel if you haven't yet. Um, and um, so I was delving in sort of like 60s to 70s folk rock, folk, singer-songwriter, soft rock. And I, after I finished the series, I, I sort of sat wondering, you know, if you looked at today's artists, um, who embodies that sound today in the, in the 2000s uh, and beyond? And uh, I came up with 10 records and uh, uh, I listened to the records and it's just great to rediscover some records that I haven't played for a while. So these are the natural heirs of the West Coast, uh, if you will. So I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed uh, compiling it. Um, and I'm going to start right away because you're not here to listen to me talk about nothing. Um, and the first record that I chose, um, first record came to mind, is the debut Fleet Foxes um, record on Sub Pop from 2008. Uh, Fleet Foxes are a band from Seattle uh, and are fronted by a melodic genius called Robin Pecknold. And um, this is, uh, as I said, the debut record. comes with the debut EP as well, the Sun Giants EP. This has echoes of, um, you know, in no particular order, of the Beach Boys, of um, the Birds, of Crosby, Stills and Nash, of Buffalo Springfield, the Zombies come to mind. This is multi-layered, multi-part harmony, uh, folk rock. Uh, it's an amazing album. I would recommend that you sample White Winter Hymnal or even Your Protector, which are the standout songs to give you a good idea of what it sounds like. And the sleeve of this uh, is quite something. Uh, um, it's a Dutch painting. Well, you can look it up. You you, you would um, have a good time looking at this. It's uh, fantastic. Um, so, yes, my first record was this, uh, and it just really fits the sounds. The second thing I have chosen is a CD. Uh, this is the only CD I'm going to show you. Um, but nonetheless, the music is great. Um, and I'm talking about uh, Midlake's second record, The Trials of Van Occupantha, which came out in 2006. Um, this is an absolutely killer record. Um, and here, you know, we have a more maybe 70s soft rock sound, Fleetwood Mac comes to mind straight away, mixed with some Crosby, Stills and Nash, uh, and maybe a little uh, Jethro Tull mixed in there. Uh, we got this kind of medieval um, sound, you know, um, or, or at least vibe, you know, when you, when you listen to it. Uh, Roscoe, which is the opening track, is an absolutely mind-blowing song. I mean, I... Whilst compiling this, give me 10, I've played this song about 25 times and I've got it stuck in my mind. I mean, I bought this on release um, back in 06 and I just rediscovered this record through this give me 10. Uh, an absolutely delightful record, uh, a work, work of genius, really. And uh, Head Home is another great song and also um, what's really good on this, Young Bride, yeah, great record. Um, during the Give Me 10 uh, on the West Coast, I spoke about a lot of female singer-songwriters, Joni Mitchell, uh, Judy Seal, Linda Perhax, uh, and uh, their natural successor, in my opinion, is Joan Newsom. Although she also evokes things like uh, the Pentangle or Fairport Convention at the same time as evoking the West Coast Californian 60s, 70s sound. Um, this is his uh, uh, second record. Could have equally uh, featured uh, this delightful uh, debut album, which is just masterful beyond belief. 
but I think this one is more representative of of that um, 70s West Coast sound. She weaves these intricate songs, uh, but I think in terms of songwriting, this is something else than say Johnny Mitchell. It's uh, it's more detailed. Is it's it's there's I mean not that it's it's not more vivid, but she uses you know great big narratives. Um, so this is from two thousand and six, uh, like the Midlake record. Yes, indeed. Um, if you're going to talk about a singer songwriter record, which is close in spirit to the James Taylor or the Jackson Browns or the the Graham Nash of the day. Um, I think this is a very worthy inclusion. Uh, this is Sea Change by Beck. This is um, an album that came out in 2002. I don't know which number Beck album it is. Um, I think maybe fifth or sixth uh, album. Uh, it's one of my personal favorites. I think it's just a very, very highly accomplished record. It's got lots of uh, quite intricate arrangements, uh, notably on things like um, songs like uh, Paper Tiger or L uh, Lonesome Tears or Lost Cause, uh, which are also, I mean, equally reminiscent of uh, something like James Taylor, but also of uh, Serge Gainsbourg because of the, uh, the very similar... Uh, arrangements of those uh, that you find on Histoire de Melody Nelson uh, and it's a very very well documented and, and acknowledged resemblance. Uh, sea Change is a, a masterclass in songwriting in my opinion it's beautiful. Um, next um, another singer-songwriter from Laurel Canyon um, uh, we, we don't talk very much about on the VC, and uh, we talk about Jonathan Wilson. Jonathan Wilson is a is a Laurel Canyon resident. He's a he's a real hippie. You know, he's a long haired hippie. Hippie. I um, uh, saw him um, in the band of uh, Roger Waters on the Pink Floyd uh, tour this year. He was playing the role of, uh, if you will, of um, David Gilmore, because he looks a little bit like a young David Gilmore, but also sings a bit like him too. Uh, also has a voice that's sort of pitched in between Elliot Smith and, say, Neil Young. The songs of this are uniformly great. They were just uh, an amazing collection. And yeah, El Elliot Smith comes to mind in terms of comparison, but, uh, you know, this is a, a really sort of straightforward West Coast modern records. Um, and again, I've quoted James Taylor and, and the like. Um, Neil Young, soul record, David Crosby, soul records come to mind. Uh, wonderful record. This is from 2012 or something, or, you know, you can look it up. I don't know exactly. Wonderful record, Gentle Spirit by Jonathan Wilson. Um, another singer-songwriter, uh, with a very sweet voice and and um, I think to me it is a no-brainer to include someone like Sufjan Stevens there. Uh, his aesthetics and his, especially on this record here, is very close to the aesthetics that you would find on 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 70s West Coast singer-songwriter records. Um, and I'm thinking of uh, notably things like. Um, yeah, the Graham Nash solo debut solo album, or or some even some Neil Young uh, records, um, just really well crafted uh, folk folk rock songs, um, and and very very touching stuff. Death with dignity, what a song! Um, it's amazing. Um, okay, the next one is not as straightforward as um, these, uh, but I included it because I think it fits, uh, in, my, in my mind it fits. Um, and I'm talking about uh, Neutral Milk Hotel's second record uh, and uh, best and cover classic album uh, in the airplane over the sea. 
which is a concept album based on the life of Anne Frank. Although if you can tell me where you can hear the life of Anne Frank on this, you'll be, you know, I would give you a, some kind of reward because I can't, I mean, yes, you sort of can. Jeff Mangum's mind is um, something else. Um, this is a folk, folk rock album, very psychedelic in parts with really twisted lyrics. When I listen to this, I come to compare it to things like Tim Buckley and Love. Why I love um, mostly because of the lyrical mm, ability these people have in common. Uh, love, right? Very sardonic, very humorous, a very um, you know amusing lyrics or very sort of mind-boggling lyrics, and these guys do too. You know, um, uh, on Holland, nineteen forty-five. You know. Now she's a little boy in Spain uh, playing pianos filled with flames, which you just go, you know, what the hell does it mean? But there you go. Neutral Milk Hotel is another neo-West Coast classic, in my opinion. I mean, it's just my opinion. You don't have to agree. Um, and that, another no-brainer is this um, very, very fine artist, who uh, has lived in many, many places in Paris, in uh, Venezuela, in San Francisco, and really embodies that kind of sound down to a T. I'm talking about Devendra Banhart. For a while in the early 2000s, he was the poster boy of the uh, uh, freak folk movement, along with uh, Jonah Newsom. These are two records that he uh, released in 2004. Uh, Nino Jojo uh, and uh, Rejoicing in the Hands of the Golden Empress. Um, equally as good as one another, although I have a slight preference for Nino Jojo, personally. Um, and their quirky um, acoustic ditties, um, you know, reminiscent of, um, I mean, lots of different things, lots of different. Um, you know, Californian things, but but also, and there's a lot of uh, English folk in there too. Like Vashti Bunyan is a big influence, and uh, also early T Rex is a big influence. But yes, indeed, uh, I think to me, a no brainer. Um, another freak folk type of artist, which we don't talk about enough in the VC, is uh, Miss Josephine Foster. Um, Josephine Foster and the backing band is supposed all the leaves are gone. This is, I'm guessing, from 2003 or 2004. And, um, and this is Josephine Foster. She's a very beautiful lady, actually. Um, and here we have a kind of a, a hybrid between, yeah, something like Linda Perhax and... Um, and the Jefferson Airplane. I, I hear a lot of Jefferson Airplane. And a little bit of Grateful Dead in there as well. Uh, but the backing band is very psychedelic. It's very, you know, there's a, there's a very psychedelic aesthetics to, the, to this whole thing. Uh, so Jefferson Airplane is probably the most, um, you know, close com the closest comparison. The opening track on this Well Healed Man will give you a good sample of what this sounds like. It's a, it's a super, super LP. Uh, and last but not least, I think I'm just about done. This is a bit of a stretch, perhaps, but uh, I think this being a band from San Francisco, a cult uh, San Franciscan outfit, um, I think I want to include this because it not only it's a great record we, we don't talk about it enough perhaps here on the VC this is the uh, roller coaster a uh, roller coaster uh, record by the red house painters obviously the band fronted by Mark Kozalek very enigmatic and somewhat um, eccentric individual uh, who also releases records under the, the Monica uh, Sun Kill Moon and uh, this is like a modern Youngbloods record, perhaps. Uh, the songs are tinted with a sense of melancholy, which is obvious. Um, it's not a happy record, but it's not a sad record either. It's kind of 
in between uh, happy and sad. It's um, it's nostalgic in places. You know, you get songs like Grace Cathedral Park or Katie's song or um, the title track Roller Coaster. It's, it's they're beautiful, yeah, bittersweet songs. Um, and so um, this concludes my. Um, uh, attempt to uh, a modern take on the west coast give me 10 i hope you enjoyed you know if anything you know it's just uh, a really cool exercise to do and um, i hope it's inspired you to go and dig out some modern uh, west coast records and again i mean these are not necessarily from the west coast but they're sort of a derivation of the aesthetics of the music Thank you, VC. Until next time.